Well, hello everybody. It's an incredibly beautiful day. And I am out on a beach, probably for the last time while I'm in UK. This is a huge beach. Didn't check the tide time, so I don't know if it's coming in or going. I don't know if I'm coming or going half the time. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have a little look across the dry sand and then over into the wet sand. I've never failed on this beach. Um, always find coins. And the last two times I was here, I found silver. So we will see what we find. See you on the first target. Well, on this machine, these things bring up very similar to pull tabs. It's actually a 50p. That's my first coin towards the cost of me parking. Okay, cool. Moving on. Just a quick chat about this sort of stuff. Now, this machine told me there was a signal, but it was grunty, so I guess there was iron involved. Now, the new machines like the Legend that the Nocta Macro are bringing out, and also the Deus, now they may be able to distinguish between this and good stuff. Now, what does that mean for us as metal detectorists? Well, if we only want the best of everything, then maybe these machines would be able to tell us what's a coin, what's not a coin, what's trash. But this, I don't want to leave that on a beach for somebody to step on. So personally, actually, I want to dig these targets so I can clean up the beach as well as get the good stuff. But I guess each to their own. Anyway, moving on. And that's coin number two. Very quickly after the 50p is a 2p. Oh, there. As soon as I find a coin, I spiraled out around that 50p, but I didn't find anything else. So I'm going to spiral around this two pence now and see if I can get anything. See you at the next. Well, no beach hunting day is complete without at least one of these. See you at the next. It's not the next one of these, obviously. My question is, is there anything in amongst all of these stones here? Targets can't drop too far in amongst them, I guess. Let's see if I can find something. Well, I guess every detector is worth his salt. We've been through this stony ground, but it's beautiful here. But there is one signal. Not a good one. Forties. Oh, is that it? Yeah. Piece of aluminium. Okay. Cool. Good to get that off a beach though. Woohoo! My first bottle cap for the day. It's a nice shiny red one. Now, obviously these new detectors coming out like the legend they say you can tell a bottle cap because it has iron in it but so does a two pence and one pence but do we care about finding them that's a good question moving on that's always a welcome sight a pound i have to have a little look on this edge you can see where the um, line of seaweed is uh, have a little look around here. Well, that's probably the oldest, deadest two pence you'd ever hope to find. That's of no use to man or beast. Wonderful. Now I'm following a line. And this is sometimes what you find. There's, um, I know my line's squiggly with my spade. But there's a couple of holes in a row now. I've just got a signal somewhere. Gone. Somebody's stolen the signal. It's still there. It's 66, 68. Don't know what it is. Could be trash. Sometimes on beaches, 
you get a, like a coin line. I'm wondering if I'm... Mm, that doesn't look like... I don't know. And if that's it there, if that's it there, then that's a piece of trash. Well, it is a piece of trash. Okay. Never mind what I was saying. <laughs> Moving on. Well, I have no idea what that is. And you can clearly see that there's a pattern on that. I think it's just foil. I mean, I don't think it's very, very thin silver. I think it's just foil, but... I mean, I've never found a piece of foil like that. Okay. Look at this beautiful place. Very happy doggies running around. Taking his time catching up. Is that a five pence I do spy in there? Yeah, it is. Woohoo! I'm in the money. Moving on. Well, I'm way down the beach now. I'm just following the tide out. I just came across a, a crusty signal. Oh, I think that's going to be a 2P again. Yeah. Mm. Oh, what's left of one, shall we say? Hmm. No, it's not. Now that's really cool. That's a Britannia, uh, which means that that is a half penny of some description or the remains of one, which means I've hit an older target here. Now this is what I'm looking for. I can't see who's on that, but it, ah, yeah, I can just about make the bust facing left. So that's, um, Probably George, I guess. Oh, that's very cool. Very happy with that. Okay. I'll have a good look around this area. See you in a bit. Now, this is an interesting area. I don't know if you can see the swirling water in there. It's a little bit darker than the usual stuff. And here I got down into what is the darker black sand. And I got a target in here somewhere. I think I do. The question is, where is it? I would have thought if it was a coin, I would have seen it already. Okay, so it's not a coin then, I guess. Which means. Yeah. This is playing up. Okay, switch that off. But what is it? Uh, it's the tip off something. Don't know. Okay. It looks like some older targets here. I keep going in this area for a bit. Well, that's a surprise to me. Um, I thought it was a fishing weight at first, but there's nowhere for a connection and there's no hole. So I think I just found myself a musket ball on the beach. That's very, very cool. Uh, yeah, wish I had more time today, but I'll see if I can find a few other things. Well, out of that hole there, I'm down in the, um, I mean, I'm a long way down the beach. Oh, I'm down in this sort of muddy, quagmire it's um yeah it's uh not so friendly down here 
but I don't know what I've just found. I can see something there, and there's a moment now that I'm totally excited. So, <sighs> this is that moment when you think, ah, oh, it's, is it, what is it? Is it rubbish? Well, it's a coin. Oh no, it'll be a modern coin. <laughs> okay. Well, semi-modern. It's an old five pence. In lovely condition though. Wow, it's beautiful. It's the date on that, 19... 1980. Okay. <laughs> well, for a moment there I thought that was something else, but anyway. Moving on. Well, if I was wondering whether that other one was a musket ball, I now know it definitely is. Here's one that hit something. Man, it squished on something. But yeah. Now that's really interesting when you start finding musket balls on a beach. Okay. Moving on. You probably can't see that blackbird in the rocks. As far as I know, that's a crow. You see him flying up? And then he drops a shell on the rocks. I don't know if you can really see that in this GoPro. Done it a few times before I could uh, get the camera on. Not doing it now. Yeah, he's flying up, dropping the shell, and then going. I think he's cracked it by the looks of it. He's eating something. Wow, first time I've seen that. And look at that. Everywhere that man goes, trash. And a ring! Well, no, not really. But I'm happy to get that off the beach. Moving on. Well, that's a funny thing to find on a beach. I don't know, some kind of lock. Piece, I guess, or window thing. I don't know, making this up. It's a thing in me off of what you call it. There, done. And right next to that thing in me off of what you call it is this. It's a no well, no, it's an old pan. Okay, cool. Okay, oh. Oh, this has been a wonderful time out here. It's true, I haven't found anything too amazing. One old half penny, which I'm very happy with. Some modern coinage, which is always nice to have some pocket money. But it's been beautiful to spend some time out in the fresh air, enjoying this beautiful sunshine on a sunny day by the seaside. And I want to thank all of you for joining me on my adventures. I hope you enjoy them. Um, anything I can do better, please let me know. And many more to come, I hope. I'll leave you with that beautiful blue sky. Sorry guys, I have no idea what that is. Blueberry ice. I don't know if that's a vape pen. If that is a vape pen, that would be um, actually my first, I think. Okay. I would say cool, but it isn't. <laughs> Moving on. That was a quick beach wrap up before I go, get rid of the rubbish out of my bag. Such an amazing spot here. Loads of trash as always. I keep that as a piece of grass. It's good to have gloves with this sharp stuff that you can pull out of the hole. And there was that um, glass bottle I happened to get, happy to get that off. Vape. Um, and the sort of good stuff. An old five pence, which you don't see very often anymore. Two pounds, you know, one older one, one new one. Two fifty p's. Thought I had three, but not sure. And a George, 
although you can hardly see him. George Halfpenny from 19 something. 1961 or 41, I don't know, have to try and get that cleaned up. And the two musket balls, which was quite a surprise. So there must be some older stuff there. Thanks for watching guys, and moving on.